Hi guys and welcome back to the board meeting. This is Shane. Today I'm going to be teaching the very underrated filler game, A Game of Thrones Hand of the King, designed by my man Bruno Cathala and produced by Fantasy Flight Games. The box says two to four players. Do not believe the box. This is definitely a two player game. It's best at two. Ignore the three and four player game. In Hand of the King, players will be vying to become the new Hand of the King by moving Varus around a grid of cards, collecting character cards of different houses to gain their banner, which basically means their support. To set up, we will shuffle the 35 character cards and the Varus card together, and then distribute them face up in a six by six grid to create King's Landing. We'll gather all the banner tokens and place them near, grab all the companion cards, we'll shuffle all of them, and then reveal six of them to use for this game. The youngest player will take the first turn. That is the setup. Uh, sorry, there's a bit of a glare on the bottom left. I realize that. During the game, starting with the first player and proceeding clockwise, players will take turns sliding the Varus card along the grid. The Varus card can only move up, down, left, or right, or orthogonally, as we call it in the board gaming world. The player will decide, declare both a direction and a house. Move Varus in that direction and collect all the character cards of the house that was declared that Varus passes through and lands on. Varus must always land on a character card from the house that was declared. So in this, we could move Varus to the left and say the Greyjoy house. Move him all the way to the left, getting Balon Greyjoy and Roderick Greyjoy. We would collect them, and then it would be the next player's turn. Each character will belong to one of the seven houses, which is identified by the card's background and the sigil on the top left. You can also tell how many members there are of a house by the number on the bottom right of the card. Put all of the cards that you have collected in front of you. At the end of the player's turn, if the character cards that you have taken give them an equal number or greater number of character cards belonging to the house than any of their opponents, they will take the banner token corresponding to that house. The six face-up companion cards are cards that will give the player some sort of unique special ability. How you gain a companion card is whenever a player takes the final card of a house that is in the King's Landing, they choose an available companion and immediately resolve the text on that card and most of the cards will either take a card from someone else take another character card from king's landing or even kill a player that is on the board a character card that is on the board or in an opponent's uh, play area players will continue back and forth until there is no character cards left in varus's column or row and then the game will immediately end so as soon as there are no legal moves for him Say all of the cards, this would be an extreme example, but all these cards are gone, so he has no one in his column to move and he has no one in his row to move. The game would end immediately. Any character cards and companion cards remaining are discarded. The player that has the most banner tokens is the winner. If there is a tie, the player with the banner tokens belonging to the house with the highest number of characters wins the game. And that is how you play a Game of Thrones Hand of the King.